What up peeps? Welcome to the Game Fix. Whether it's your first time or you've been here multiple times before, hey girl, hey. I'm back with a summer haul because I have been buying all of the things and I just figured I needed to share it with somebody because I found some really cute pieces, okay? So I have some things from Target, from Old Navy, from Amazon, from Anthropology, shoes from DSW. I mean, I think that's everything. All of the things. I've even got some swimsuits, you know. So grab a beverage or something and let's get into it. So I'm going to start with what I have on now because... If you've been following me for a while, you know that V-necks are my jam. I love a good V-neck. It is like my summer staple. And I found these. Well, I found this one and another one. I think it's like a yellow. I can't remember what color it is because I don't have it in front of me. I left it in my closet. But I found these at um, Target. It's the Universal Thread. And I'm going to just show you. You know, it's just a simple, simple t-shirt, simple V-neck. But I absolutely love it because... They just go with anything. You can put it on with shorts, you can put it on with a skirt, you can put it on with jeans. I mean, it's just a standard tee. So I really like the Universal Thread V-necks and then I also have V-necks that I love from Amazon. So everything that I mentioned, if I can find it, if it's still available, I will put a link in the description box so you can get everything there, okay? I'm not going to leave y'all hanging unless it's sold out. So I'm going to try to show you things that are still available. What else? Oh, before I get into it also, I want to talk about my hair because I know somebody is going to ask. This is an old wig. This unit I've had since probably 2018 and it was made for me for an event that I was in. So I don't have any specs on the wig. I don't know what type of hair it is. It's, you know, I'm assuming some type of Brazilian curly, but I can't tell you any of that stuff. So I'm sorry because I know somebody's going to ask, but it is just like, you know, a closure wig that a stylist made. So, all right, let's get into it. First look is a super cute two-piece from Target. It is from the Who, What, Where line. And I love it because it is this really pretty like floral pattern. And I'm all for short sets this season. Like give me a matching two-piece set and I'm here for it, okay? Now, I will say that I hate that it has a long sleeves because... We're kind of getting out of the season where this is okay. Like, I feel like this is a spring fit or, you know, if you're going to be inside. But I highly do not recommend this if you're going to be outside. I was outside in this earlier and I was like, okay, it's too hot. But I, but I love it. It's super cute. It's super comfortable. Um, I have, this is a size small. The shorts are actually an extra small. I wanted them in a small, but they didn't have a small. But I wanted the outfit so bad that I was like, you know what? I'm by these extra small. And it doesn't fit bad. I think it actually fits pretty cute. So here's this look. Super cute. So next I found this jumper. I'm thinking that the pockets are here. They are not. So next I found this jumper and okay here's my thing. I have like a love-hate relationship with this because it's kind of like a drop hem here. Uh, it, it's just it, it's weird. So it's cute but it kind of can look a little big and baggy in this area. I mean it fits cute. But this part is weird to me. It's almost like, why didn't you make the seam up here? Like, the seam is too low. But I like it. I also tried it on with a belt. And thought that this was a really cute look, too. Put on, like, some black, some black heels or something. Like, this is really cute to me. You can kind of slouch it a little bit. It just brings it up a tad bit more, so it just doesn't look so big. But I feel like it was really, really cute. I'm a fan. This is also universal thread and this is a size medium. They did not have a small, so perhaps a small would have fit a little better. But um, yeah, I'm a fan. All right, tell me that this is not the cutest dress. This is from the Alexis collection. I found this at my local Target because when I tried to order it online, it was like sold out and I just happened to be in the Target and saw it in my size. This is a small and I just love it. I think it's perfect for like, you know, date night. It could go for a wedding, you know, you probably even wear this to church. Um, I think it's really, really cute. So if you could get your hands on it, please do so because 
I just think that the print is really stunning. Um, yeah, super cute. It's like flirty. I'm a fan, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so I also have shoes that I bought. So it's weird because I feel like I wanted to separate the shoes from the outfits, but I got these at Target and they do like match the dress. So there are these cute little slides, um, Shade and Shore. And I just recently took these out of town and they're really comfortable to just walk around in, but they're cute enough to like, you know, go with a dressy dress like this. I don't know if you, probably let me back up so you can see, but yeah, they just look really cute, you know, like not trying too hard, not doing the most. Sometimes you just want a cute flat sandal and these are perfect. You can also like take them to the pool because um, it's just that kind of material that you don't worry about getting wet. Um, so I really like them. Switching gears to Old Navy. Look at this little set. Tell me this is not the cutest, most comfortable little thing that you've seen. It's just shirt, uh, it's just shorts with a tank. Um, I am a huge fan of this lime green color specifically like in the summer months because it just I think it pops against my skin so um, yeah I love this it is super casual you could wear it really wherever and then I would probably pair these with some Birkenstocks I have two pair that I have been like wearing on a rotation I got them both at DSW Yes, I got them both from DSW. This gold pair, uh, one of my faves. Uh, Y'all know I love gold. And this one is just like the original um, hard sole. So they're not the most comfortable things. Like you have to wear these on a time limit. Like I wouldn't put these on and wear them all day if I know I'm gonna be gone and on my feet all day long because the footbed is hard. And I don't know about you guys, if you guys wear Birkenstocks, but it just takes a while for them to break in. And you really never get used to the hard footbed. Um, but they didn't offer the gold in the soft footbed, so what do you do? The other pair that I have are rose gold. I really love these. I wish that the bottom was not white. That's my only gripe about these is that the white on the sole I wish that it was just you know brown like normal but these are really cute now these have the soft footbed which make them way more comfortable I can wear these all day long I wore these to travel in through the airport like every day almost when we were out of town like these are just super duper duper comfortable so if you can get some Birkenstocks with a soft footbed you'll be in business unless you are able to just get used to the hard foot bed or you just wear them on a limited amount of time. Either one of these would go with this outfit and you know, be really cute and casual. Another two piece from Old Navy. Yeah, I thought I was playing when I told y'all about these sets, okay? But isn't this the cutest? It's got like palm trees on it and like, you know, pastel colors. It is kind of like a terry, cloth material but it's very very comfortable um so yeah i'm a fan drawstring at the waist so the top is a small the bottom is a medium just because you know i have thicker thighs so i wanted to make sure that i had room in the bottoms but um it's super comfortable and they actually have this in a couple of other colors and i think i want to go back and get it they have like a blue and white striped one and i think kind of like a pink or a peachy and cream striped one. So I'm thinking about going back and getting them just because this is like an everyday look for me. And I paired it with my gold Birkenstocks uh, just cause I like the muted gold on, you know, the pastel colors and I'm good to go. While I'm in this outfit, let me tell you about this um, crossbody bag that I got from Target. So, Here's the bag, and I'm honestly not sure what I think about it. We're going on a family trip um, next week, and I felt like this could be a good option to have. I don't ever really wear like, so like I wear like a crossed bag, but I've never had a crossed, you know, cross body like this, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll do the what is it called? Crossbody longer purse, but not like this. But it's actually pretty cute with this outfit. I found this at Target. And you can switch. What I like about it is that you can um, switch the strap. 
depending on what side you want it to fall across. It's pretty spacious. Um, this was Wild Fable. It was only like 20 bucks. Another thing I'm into are t-shirt dresses because they're just so easy to slip on, okay? Old Navy has them in a ton of colors. I have it in this color. I have it in uh, like lime, pink. Uh, what other color do I have? Yellow. Um, this like light fatigue color. So I bought three and I bought them in a medium. I bought them in a medium. So they're a little bit more baggy than this one. This is a small and I think I like the fit of the small much better than I do the fit of the medium. Um, but you know, cause it's, it hugs just enough and it's not like super baggy. But I just feel like t-shirt dresses are just super easy to throw on, super cute to, you know, dress up, dress down, whatever you want to do with it. Something I would pair this with is this cute little uh, book bag that I found at Target. It's actually become my like go-to bag. I took it out of town because I am a fan of backpacks. I like to be hands-free, crossbody, backpack. I don't want to carry a purse. Like I just, I'm not a fan. Uh, you know, there's a time and place for that, but it's very rare that I have a purse that I'm actually holding on to with like a strap because I like to be hands-free. So yeah, this is a um, super cute bag. And I think this like peachy nude color goes with pretty much everything. Um, and it's pretty spacious too. I got all types of stuff in here. Like, and it doesn't weigh it down, you know? So yeah, super cute bag that can pretty much go with anything. So next I purchased a couple of things from J Lux label. I have never shopped at this store before. Um, it's an online boutique, but I saw this dress Sorry, I didn't put on the appropriate bra. And I was like, oh, this is really pretty. You know, date night out. Um, you know, a little bodycon joint. I really like the um, strap situation here. So, yeah, I purchased this. Now, I probably could have gone up a size because I feel like it's really tight. Plus, I ain't got no spanks on or nothing. So, once I throw my spanks on, I'll probably be good. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It's comfortable. Like the material is very stretchy. It's got a lot of give to it. Now, <clears throat> I would probably not wear these shoes with it, but I figured this is a good opportunity for me to show you these shoes because they are so cute. These puppies from Steve Madden. Um, I actually ordered them from the Steve Madden website. I absolutely love them. They're so pretty, right? It's just like the perfect pink. Um, like I said, I probably wouldn't pair it with this dress. So you can kind of get the idea of what they would look like, you know, dressed up. Next, I got this set from J Lux Label. And I think it's so cute. I don't particularly care for the top styled this way because, you know, my girls don't quite sit up just yet. Uh, <laughs> so I don't. I don't think I would really wear it like this, but you can also do it um, across the, like do a tie here. So I'd probably wear like a strapless bra and tie it here. Um, but it is super duper cute. I am a fan and it fits really good. This is a size small, I believe. Yep, it's a size small, which I was skeptical about because I was like, I don't know how it's going to fit, but the pants are like perfect. They're not crazy long. I mean, well, if I wore flats, they would drag on the ground, but you know, they're not too bad. I'm a fan though. I really like the color. I feel like I should have also bought it in black because I, I wish that I would have bought it in black. Um, it comes in stock and then goes out of stock really quickly. Like they sell out of it really quickly. So I don't even think that they have it in stock anymore, but I love it. So here it is tied the other way. And this would be my preferred way to wear it with it tied like this. Um, I'm just a little bit more comfortable with it like this, but it's so pretty. I just love it. This brings me to some other shoes that I bought that I absolutely love. Like I'm into the flats this season and these are from Steve Madden. They have these in a couple of other colors too, like with like pink hued rhinestones and then they have like multicolored rhinestones. But I just thought that the, you know, classic clear iridescent color would just go with everything um and i just i love them 
they like jazz up anything so I wish that these pants were shorter so that I could get away with wearing these without my pants dragging but um, if I didn't care about them dragging I could wear it like this it would be cute so I also bought one of their bodysuits because I wanted to see how they fit, like test out the size, and it is super duper comfortable. You know, some some bodysuits are not about the right, but this one is pretty comfortable. I got it in this color so that I could wear, you know, as I could wear it as an alternative to the top that goes with these pants if I wanted to switch it up. But um, yeah, I really like the bodysuit. It fits good and I think I'm gonna get some more, like, you know, a classic white one, a black one. It'd be nice to have, but they have a ton of different colors in like their bodysuits. And I think a couple different styles in their bodysuits too, if you didn't want like the tank. Um, but yeah, switching gears to a new to me store. Well, the store is not new to me, but I have never shopped there really for like clothing. And it's anthropology because I kind of feel like they're a bit on the pricey side. I still feel that way. Like I bought these pieces and I kept looking at the total like I really spent this much on this many pieces. So they are quality pieces though. So this is like this debate that I'm having with myself. Is it because I'm so used to buying cheap clothes that buying higher, you know, higher end clothes feels weird to me because I'm just like, do you know how many outfits I could have gotten at Target with the four pieces that I got from Anthropology? It's crazy. But the quality is like really good. And this dress, I put it on and I was like, okay, I have to have it. Like it's just so cute. I love the um, crochet detail. Like it's just super duper comfortable. I think that it stops at the perfect place. You can wear it with flats, you can wear it with the heels. It's just really, really cute. Like, I'm a fan. Clearly, I wouldn't wear this bra with it, but. <laughs> yeah, it's just so cute. I absolutely love it. And it's funny, the sales, um, the sales associate was like, you are probably the 10th person who has bought this dress today and we like just put them out. Um, so yeah, it's super cute if you're looking for a higher end piece that's gonna last you like I can tell by you know the material that it's gonna last some some time it be, it better for how much it goes next piece I got from anthropology is this kimono it is really really pretty now I would not wear this kimono with this dress I just figured that since I had the dress on let me just show the kimono um, I would probably pair the kimono with like shorts or jeans and like a crisp white tee or even like a yellow shirt it'd be really cute I feel like you know with like a tank or something but I just wanted you guys to see the kimono because it is so pretty like I absolutely love it and like I said you can tie it if you like you know <clears throat> do what you want with it but I just thought it was really pretty just like you know an added piece to dress up an outfit um super cute here's the next dress i love the like beading on the like the tie in the back it's just so pretty um it's a short dress super cute and flirty and i'm a fan of it this could actually go well with the pink shoes flat shoes or the pink shoes with this but this is like you know definitely a date night situation right here and i'm a fan i just feel really pretty in it last piece from anthropology is this super cute uh shirt it's just like a little kind of like a crop top i mean i guess it's crop i got it in a medium because i liked how it was a bit loose and flared out um as opposed to you know the small was pretty tight but um, i actually paired it with these white jeans that i bought from target i forgot that i bought them they are like high waist levi's and i'm not sure if i'm keeping them because i feel like the bottom is not tapered enough for me i like my skinny jeans to you know be tapered at the ankle like pretty tight and it seems a little loose so i'm not sure if i'm keeping these but they fit good y'all know i'm all about a distressed jean i probably have about 10 pairs of distressed jeans if it's got rips in it i'm a fan 
but um yeah this is kind of cute with this top um oh another pair of shoes that i bought that i wanted to show you it doesn't necessarily match this top but i'll show them to you anyway they're just like the pink ones except they are this color like this really pretty citron citron type of color not saying i would wear this whole ensemble together but just so you guys can see the shoes see them in action they look really pretty i think this is the last outfit this is from amazon and so you can wear it as an outfit, but I bought it as a swimsuit cover up and I think it's so cute. I bought it in this blue and then also like a lavender color. Um, I would show you the lavender one, but it's in the dirty clothes right now. But um, plenty of people on the reviews though said they was like wearing it out as an outfit because it's supposed to kind of like crop and be, it can be kind of like a crop, but this one is one size bigger than my uh, purple one. So I can actually like pull the shirt down and make it look like a full romper. Um, but the other one, it just fits a little bit snugger. The top isn't as big and it was really cute as a swimsuit cover up. Um, but hey, if you bold enough to rock it as an outfit, honey, do you, okay? But it is really cute. Um, but yeah, these are all of the clothes. I do have, um, oh, a bag that I got from Amazon also, which is a super cute travel bag. I talked about this on my Instagram. Isn't this just the cutest little thing? I thought it would be really cute to take with you if you're on vacation, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you don't want a big bag. This is perfect. It comes with a, um, What's this thing called? A scarf to kind of uh, tie it up because it doesn't like snap clothes or anything. So you can tie the strap around or try to tie the scarf around to uh, make it close fully. So there are two sizes. So this is the small size and I also purchased the large size. So here's the size difference. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep the large size, honestly, like this thing is massive I mean, i guess if you got a lot of stuff if you're a person who's used to carrying a big purse this would be okay i just feel like i would want to wear this on like a night out or something like this so smaller daintier you know is better than the big one but hey to each his own if you can rock the big one go for it but here is the size difference if you can kind of see yeah size difference um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think that that's it guys. All right, guys, we made it to the end of the haul. If you're still here, shout out to you because I feel like this video is going to be long. Hopefully I can chop it down and it's not super long, but yeah, let me know your favorite pieces. What would you rock? What do you think? As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Leave them down below and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.